hi everyone in this video we are going to see how to code and or drain the node the prerequisite for this topic is some understanding of deployments pains and tolerations and daemon sets so let's get into the topic suppose we have the nodes p1 p2 so on and pn and if you want to curdle the node p2 so we can use the command kubectl curdle p2 when we use this command this will prevent any extra pods from being added to the node this will not allow any pod entering into the node p2 so this is similar to the no schedule taint on nodes likewise we have another command drain so if you want to drain the node we can use the command cube control drain node so when we use this the node so the pods which is running in the node will get evict from the node except daemon set pods so this is like no execute taint on nodes so why the daemon set pods are pending because the associated daemon sets are part of cube system namespace and those would be launched when the cluster is launched the calico daemon set is responsible for inter networking communication between objects in the cluster and q proxy is responsible for exposing application in or out of the cluster so in short these daemon sets are related to networking and the command kubectl train is very handy with deployments so let's get entering in the practical session we are going we are in the cloud shell we are going to see any pods is presently running so there are no pods so we can see the nodes by giving the cube cut will get nodes so we have three nodes cd wk h2 n6 and h2 wg so let's see the manifest of a deployment here we have already created deploy hyphen cube train so this is the manifest for the deployment the api version is extension slash v1 beta 1 the kind is here is deployment then metadata we are giving the name deploy hyphen cube train one yaml under specific section we have the selector the selector will pick up the label from the pod template which is label hyphen deploy hyphen cube train one we have containers so engineers container we are having so it's a web server image and uh, we are going to create the deployment now let's create the deployment create deploy hyphen So you have created the deployment. Let's check the ports. Hyphen O wide. So all the ports are running in the node H2N6, H2WG, and CDWK. So it is running in all the nodes so now we are going to drain 
the node H two W G. Let's check the node. Okay. Drain. So we are going to drain the node three. So the node H two W G cordoned, and however you have some message telling that the demon set ports are uh, pending here. So we have to ignore these demon set ports. For that, we are using the command space hyphen hyphen ignore hyphen demon set. So you can see the pod will get evicted from the node H2WG. You can see one by one. Now all the pods are running, will be running in the node, other nodes that is uh, CDWK and H2N6. We can see that also. If I give white you can see it is running in other nodes h2 and 6 so now let's curtain the node okay now we are going to curtain the other nodes h2 wg already we drained and we are going to curtain h2 n6 the command is cube cutter curtain followed by the node name okay now we can give the command. So it will not make any change here because the ports will run as it is in the same node only. So now we will going to delete the deployment. After that, we can see delete. You have to give the name deploy followed by the file name. Deploy to train one YAML. So the deployment is deleted. Now we are going to create it again. So if you create it again, we can see the pods will uh, run in the node one that is. The deployment is created. Now we'll see the command. You can see the pod is running in the node CDWK because the other two nodes, that is H2N6, is curtained just now, and the H2WG is already drained. But still, here some it is running only in this node, but some parts are pending. This is due to the insufficient uh, uh, CPU, so we can uh, see by giving the describe command. For that, the command is cube cutl. Okay, first let's see the pod name. Okay, now we can see why it is pending. So we have to use describe command for this. Describe ports followed by pod name. So this one is pending. I'm going to show only this. 
okay you can see it is showing that failed scheduling due to insufficient cpu but anyway the pod is running in the cd node cd wk so now we are going to uncurden the nodes which is drained and curden so after that we will delete the deployment and again we can create and we are going to assign all the pods in the all the nodes so first the delete the deployment okay the deployment is deleted now you are going to uncurden the nodes one by one Uncurden. okay before that we have to know the node name so i'm going to see the nodes okay cube control uncurred on so we are going to uncurred the node h2 w g so the node h2 w g uncurred on again we are going to uncurred on the node h2 h2 n6 okay now we are going to create the deployment and we can see the all the pods will assigned in all the nodes you can see it's created now let's check get pods all are running so we can give the white command to see the status so it is running in all the nodes h2wg h2n6 and cdwk so the cleanup here we have curdened the node h2wg sorry uh, curd uh, drain the node h2wg initially after that we have curdened the node h2n6 and uh, you have delete the deployment after you can see the pods are running in the only one node that is cdwk after that we have uncurdened the node h2n6 and h2wg and you have assigned all the pods in the all the nodes now you can delete the deployment so that's all about the this video we hope this video is useful for you thanks for watching